So good morning my beautiful people, I hope you're well. Today, today is about finishing off the flu gallery. Uh, obviously you know I've, uh, I've got the, the main part in, but I've still got to, I don't know if you saw in my last video, there's a gap at the back which you can see there and that goes all the way through to the back so it's open at the minute so I'm gonna mix up the last of my mortar uh, fill that gap in and then that's that's the last of the last of the flu gallery uh, and the arch done um, I'm still quite shocked at how how good it actually looks you think it just, <laughs> it's just I mean I'd build that <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna get on with that today Oh, I'd also like to thank Clive over at the Wood Fired Wood Fired Oven YouTube channel. Bless him. He gave me a little uh, he gave me a little plug on his Instagram. Uh, gave my channel a little plug, and since then I seem to have a, an influx of, of new subscribers. So hello to the new subscribers, and thank you, Clive. I appreciate that. Um, he's got a great channel on everything everything to do with wood fired ovens, maintenance, the tools it use, how to light fires. It's well worth a watch. I'll leave a, a link in my description in case anybody wants to have a go and have a look. The next job after that normally is to get it covered with the fire blanket and then the perlite render. But before I do that, what I need to do is I need to tile around the outside and get my granite uh, landing fitted because the uh, render and the fire blanket will rest on top of these uh, and give it a nice seal. If I don't do that, if I put the fire blanket on first and the render on first, then I've got to cut tiles and they're up against the edge and you'll be able to see the, the cuts, which it will just look a lot neater if you do this first. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, uh, I've had a go at cutting one this morning and I've got it cut. And it's, I mean, it's almost correct. There's a little gap here, which it doesn't matter because the render is going to probably come out to about here. But I'm a bit unsure about cutting corners on uh, on, on tiles. I mean, I'm, I'm unsure on cutting tiles full stop. Um, what I used was I used the trammel tool that was inside here to score me a mark all the way around. And I thought that would give me the correct... Uh, diameter cut but it didn't so I'm a bit stumped as, as to why oh and I've got fast spinny things out again so anything could happen Dear me, I've just made an absolute schoolboy error. I've measured the distance from here to here, on here, taken the tile off, put it down there, got a tape measure, marked it all the way around where I need it, cut it. <laughs> what have I done? I've cut it the wrong way. <laughs> So I said to the guy where I bought the tiles from, can you just give me enough adhesive for what I've, for the tiles that I've bought? So he said, yeah, yeah, 20 kilo bag. <clears throat> that should be great. So as always, I do quite a bit of research and I think quite hard about what I'm gonna do before I do it. So I thought, right, so he's just giving me 20 kilos in that bag, I'll mix it all. So I've mixed it all. 
<laughs> I mean, I, did, there looks to be quite a lot in there. So I've only got, I've only got about eight tiles to put down. <laughs> so I think I might have mixed a bit much. So have we got any left? If anybody needs any tile adhesive, give me a shout. As you saw, I broke a tile, which was <laughs> mild panic ensued. Um, I've got all the other ones down. I've taken that one back up. I've got no choice really but to to go and get another tile now. I've got a funny feeling the only coming boxes are six, so I'm going to ring him up see if they've got a spare one <laughs> and take it from there. And I've got all the other ones down. I, I have uh, I have decided that tiling is not for me. I don't like tiling. The, the adhesive it's 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 not like the stuff I've been working with for here it's it's really it's really gloopy and sticky it's, there's no forgiveness in it it's very elastic -y. so yeah tiling I, I'm not I'm not uh, I'm not feeling tiling if I'm honest so I'll give him a call uh, the place where I got it from uh, see if he's got a spare one if he hasn't then <laughs> I'm gonna have to buy six more tiles which would be a pain I also mixed enough adhesive probably to tile every swimming pool in the country so I'm probably gonna have to buy some more adhesive as well so luckily for me the local tile place that I've been using have us have another tile I actually rang them up and, and told them my situation and uh, they said, "Yeah, yeah, just come down and uh, come down and get one." So I went down. They'd already put one aside for me, and uh, I asked them how much they wanted for it, and said, "No, you can, you, you can have it." So God bless them. So I've got a, uh, I've got a tile, a replacement tile. But what I can't do is, I can't make a mistake because if I make a mistake, well, I'll have to go down and get another tile, or I'll probably have to pay for it. So after two days of what I thought would be the one of the most simple tasks of <laughs> tiling, putting what six tiles down on a, on on the floor around the oven, I've actually got them in now, and thankfully, and it's what's well, cost me an extra bag of adhesive. So yeah, right. So I've got the tiles around the back. So the next step is, as I've said to you before, I will have a piece of granite which will be level with this. So it'll stick out here and it'll come out to about here and it will go all the way around the edge of there and there and that will be my landing for when I've obviously cooked something in the oven it comes out of the oven and I'll put it on the landing so that'll be raised so what I need to do 
is build up to that level i think the guy said i need to leave 35 centimeters so what i'm going to do is i've got a lot of red brick hanging around in the garden and i'm going to put them on the side and build it up ready for the uh, granite arriving next week right so now we're on with this bit to raise uh, raise up for the granite that arrives next week so i need to leave a 35 35 centimeter gap and can you believe it i put my tape measure down and i don't know where it is <laughs> you think i'll get this stuff ready before i start filming yep i don't know where it is I found it so yeah, I have to leave, he said a minimum of 35 centimetres, so that's not enough. But that's 60. So with a bit of mortar under there, I'm what, going to be 45? I think I should be alright with 45. 